this tutorial will show you how to share a document with your students through Google Classroom um, the type of document where you want every student to have their own copy and for that student to fill out information and then post the document to you with that information filled in so it's different to a brief where a brief they will just open the document up and read it and this is something that they're going to interact with and submit to you so it could be a form that they have to fill out it could be a list of questions or an exam let's say um, that they have to answer questions on and then they're going to submit it to you so again in the stream section of your classroom down here you hit this plus and go create assignment and we'll call this um, form for risk assessment at Oscars Cafe. This was something I did last year with the students. Please fill out this form and submit to me via classroom. Okay. So a due date, I need this by the 20th of September. And let's say I need it by 12 noon. Okay, so I have this form again in Google Drive. And this is it here, Design Health and Safety Oscars. And I'll show you that document now in a minute. We'll add that. Now I want students to be able to edit this file and I want each student to have their own copy. So in here, I have to click on students, sorry, make a copy for each student. Okay, and click, we'll click assign. We'll say that it's going up today. In the last video, I showed you if I wanted to schedule this for later on in the week or some other date, but we'll say that we want to assign it. Students will get this directly. Okay, so you can see here, let me just open this document. Okay, so what will happen is each student will get a copy of this. So this was something the students had to do in a, a bar in town and they had to be able to type in things here and they had to list things here and rate, put a rating in. Okay, um, so let me go back, we'll just close that down. Um, you can see here it says each student will get a copy. You can see none of them have done it. And I have one student only in this classroom. But let me go back. So basically, each student will fill that in. They'll be warned that it has to be due on the 20th of September at 12 o'clock. Now, in the student mode, they will be able to see they have a little button when they open this up. Um, and up the top here, there is a button that they click on that will submit it to you. And when they do that, let me close it down again, it will say that they've submitted it here. It also calculates if they've submitted it late. So let me show you um, maybe, I'm trying to think of a class that I had where students had to submit something. Um, so, um, comments and f feedback. Okay, goes to show a lot of them don't bother submitting, but let's go in here. Um, so for example, this was a form that I got students to fill in. Now you can see, even if students don't click on submit, this is why the students, a lot of them don't submit the comments to me because I didn't submit this particular document to me because I could still see it. If I go back, see if I go into 17 not done, like Ariana, for example, this was a student from last year. She, um, I could still see her comment, so it didn't really matter whether she, to me, she submitted it or not, but um, if it was something like an exam that they had to submit at a particular point, um, the minute they click that they're sending it to you, they can't edit that document anymore. Um, so that's, that's quite handy. So that's pretty much it for, let me go back in to my fake class. So yeah, this risk assessment on the 20th of September, by 12 o'clock, each student would submit it to me. What would happen is here, all of my students would be listed. So for example, this is me. Okay, so this is my name, tutorials, but if it was, say, Helen Sheridan or John Smith or Mary Walsh, 
uh, so you'd know whose document it is and then you would see that it's all filled in or not filled in and then the student wouldn't be able to edit it anymore so it is quite handy for that so that is putting up documents that you want students to edit